outside. Clock is ticking down. He's driving, he's hanging, he's firing, and he's finding the bottom of the bucket. But it's a full court press being applied. Monia is going to have to launch from deep in his own heart. It's definitely been, uh, you know, a trying and frustrating season. Not frustrating, but it's definitely been a little bit trying, a little bit different under the circumstances that, you know, I had to miss games, I had to miss practices. You know, I missed, you know, four games, um, and you know, I was out for almost three weeks, and then it reoccurred again, um, you know, recently. Um, and you know, I have to have to miss, you know. The playoffs, which you know was an important part, you know you play all year, all season, to be you know to, to play for something. I'm not saying the regular season you're not playing for something, but you play the regular season and want to play in the playoffs. And you know for me, I want to be able to be out there and help my team and help my team win. Um, so it's been difficult. It's been frustrating um, from that standpoint that I'm not be able to be out there um, to help my team. three points um, and it was kind of you know a tooth and nail game I guess you can call it when every, everything was going back and forth um, it was a very physical game um, you know, Kimke ended up really playing really well the first quarter you know they shot the ball really well to shut the hell out of the ball um, and then throughout the game it was just kind of us kind of being resilient kind of finding a way to kind of get back um, we had a, a rough start um, Nando Dicolo ended up coming out of the game and he got hurt 
Um, so he wasn't going to come back. So we kind of had to grind a way out and just kind of figure out, um, you know, what was going to be the, you know, the best solution for us to kind of win the game. And, you know, great job by our team to kind of figure it out. Um, you know, we had some, you know, big game. Um, you know, obviously Sergio, he played amazing. Um, you know, he had his playoff career high. Um, you know, Corey and Will, um, they stepped up and played well. Um, and Simon Antoff, you know, he had some big moments, um, you know, in the second half that kind of, you know, pushed us to, ha to have the lead. Um, he gave us the energy that we needed. So it was the first game was, you know, it was one of those games where it was like, you know, like it could have went either way, but we just figure out a way to win. And I mean, that's kind of what it is in the playoffs. to play. Charles Jenkins gets right here. It's not a three. It's not a three, but he's short on the shot, and that'll do it. Seska Moscow take a 2-0 lead, prevailing in a tough five-point victory over Kim Ki Moscow. We had, you know, players that stepped up, you know, to the occasion. That's what you need in the playoffs, and that's what you need in these moments. You need guys that are going to step up and make plays, and, and that's the difference between winning and losing, especially in the playoffs. Um, whoever's going to make the most plays, and that's what happened um, in 2-0. Um, for me, it sucked to watch because I wasn't playing um, because, you know, when those type of games, you know, my competitive, you know, I guess a competitive spirit, my competitive nature automatically flares up. And, you know, I want to be a part, I want to play. Um, but I'm just happy that, you know, our team um, was able to compete and that we're, you know, going into game three um, with a 2-0 lead. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's, this is what we wanted. We wanted to defend our home court. Um, we wanted to kind of defend um, and put the pressure on them, um, you know, in a closeout game in game three. But now it's important for us not to relax. We can't relax at all because if we relax, you know, the way the game one and game two has been, um, you know, they've had opportunities. So we got to come out and just kind of figure out a way to win the game. Um, that's really it. You know, I mean, either we win it by one point or whatever, we just got to figure out a way to win. He's got to launch, he recognizes now. Oh my goodness! And Kim Ki Moscow region have secured their first ever victory in the playoffs of the Euro League and keep this playoff series alive. It's not necessarily an easy accomplishment. It's not necessarily something that's like a foregone conclusion that we're just going to be there. 
you know, every year it gets more difficult and more difficult and there's more pressure, um, you know, on the team to kind of get back to those, uh, to those moments. So for us, we understand what's, what's, what's at stake. Kimke understands what's at stake. They want to be the team that, you know, basically said that they stop, you know, Cheska from getting to the Final Four. So I think our team understands the magnitude and, you know, we understand, you know, what it means to get to a Final Four. Um, you know, the, the season starts out with 16, 16 teams. Um, and obviously, you know, to be one of the final four remaining, um, you know, it was an unbelievable accomplishment. So, um, you know, my fingers are crossed, you know, that we will go out there and we'll hopefully start the process um, in our journey um, to the final four. Congratulations for the guys that are going to be present over there. Uh, forget me if I forgot something. For sure, Will is going first time. Alan, uh, Leo, uh, Rat. Who am I forgetting? That's it. I congratulate, special congratulations for, for you guys. Today, we're a different team, all right? We step up. Many of you, you step up. <coughs> and that's, that's great. Now, about the second half, I can, I can say a lot of things, though. Uh, the composure was not there, including my, myself and my bench as well. But uh, we managed to, to win a great series, a great opponent, and that's uh, something that we, we need to congratulate each of you and everyone. In two days, we change the, the chip. You see, when we spread the floor, we go over there, we deny things. It's not the same for them. They made some big shots uh, in the second half, but we managed to be on the plan, and we kept the composure at the last moment. We scored what we had to score over there. Big congratulations to each of you and uh, anyone for the, for the contribution to this uh, story. Seven straight finals in a row, um, <laughs> final fours in a row. So I mean, like I said, it's another opportunity to you know, hopefully get that, uh, get that fourth title. The one year, the year that we won, uh, was because everybody accepted, everybody had the same hungerness, everybody was together. 
So I think we have the blueprint and I think we have everything on paper, but it's about us to kind of bring it together. And hopefully, you know, this time in the this time in the summer when you ask me to cut this question, I'll be sitting here smoking a cigar with my championship hat on. I'll bring the title back home to Moscow. I know where, uh, where it belongs. So, so.